Advocare presents our moment of the match. This week's honor goes to Michael Barrios, who netted not one, but two goals in FC Dallas's 3-0 win over DC United. The first goal came in the 14th minute, the second in the 28th after getting the beautiful pass from Mauro Diaz. Barrios slips the ball right past DC United goalkeeper Travis Wara for the first half brace. Welcome back to FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. The FC Dallas U16 Academy is used to playing at a high level. As Carter Baum reports, this squad is competing at the highest of levels in the Generation Adidas Cup. That's the focus of this week's FCD Next, brought to you by Chase. The FC Dallas U16 Academy team competed in the 2016 Generation Adidas Cup late last month, an MLS tournament pitting all the league's academy teams against some of the top academies in the world. For the third straight year, Dallas qualified for the championship division, where the top six MLS sides faced the top six international sides. FCD finished atop its group, beating Spanish side Valencia and the Mexican U-17 national team before falling in the tournament semifinal to Universidad de Chile. Dallas fared the best of any MLS team, being the only club to beat an international opponent, doing so three times while being the only MLS-based club to make it out of the group stage. You know, it, it still hurts, you know, uh, in the semifinals. You know, things happen, we had to move on, we had to channel it to the the right way our next game our league game and just go from there the mentality i thought was great going into the game i thought we were proactive we put some pressure we scored the first goal but i give them a lot of credit too they have some good players they're organized um they were very smart as well and they got back into the game i thought we were going to see it through into the overtime so we can kind of re um replan and, and reorganize the strategy going into the overtime and have the boys you know, talk about some adjustments we need to make, and they scored that heartbreaker with in stoppage time. So, which was just disappointing um, for the boys and, and the club. But, in you know, in reflection, very proud. For FCD Next, presented by Chase, I'm Carter Baum. I love seeing all these updates and seeing what the FC Dallas Academy is doing. And and you grew up sort of in that Seattle Sounders Academy. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was pretty good. I mean, I was only there for the first year of the academy. It was my U18 year. I kind of followed my, my youth club coach over there. Um, it was a great experience playing for that club. But, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And obviously we beat them in the playoffs last year. So it's weird going from one to another. But... I'm really glad to be here. And these young FC Dallas Academy players have this unique opportunity to, to train with you guys, and you see them out there every day. Oh, yeah. I mean, you believe it. They're the best academy in the States. Um, these guys are 16, 17, can come in and play with us. We had a couple come to preseason with us, and you, you barely even notice that they're there. I mean, they're such good young players, and I think the Kellen Acostas of the world, mm -hmm. the Mo Hernandez is, mm -hmm. I mean, even Aaron Guillen this year, it's unbelievable what this academy is doing. So. I think it's really good. Much more with FC Dallas goalkeeper Ryan Herman when we come back here on FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. Still ahead, find out how you can help America Scores Dallas tonight right here at Toyota Stadium. Later, we will preview tonight's match against a Columbus team that is hungry for some early season success. And up next, we're going flying with Mauro Diaz and Mauro Rosales. See how high they can go next when FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota, returns.